Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RAS Aquaculture. In this video, I'll be going through some of the reasons why your paddle wheels are not being able to start and what are the maintenance strategy that you could apply to your paddle wheel aerators and some of the simple replacement that you can do to ensure that you have effective aeration in your pond. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys, for those that are new to RRS or culture, do like and subscribe so that you can get a weekly notification on our latest video on shrimp farming and mud crab farming. So as you might already know, paddle wheels are actually common equipment that are used in the pond setup. So you can see that you know they are actually being used directly on the pond itself and most of the part, especially the gearbox, will be exposed to salt water and even under sun for long periods of time. So the first problem that you're going to have is that your body or your gearbox, which is actually the lowest part of the paddle wheel, will be usually in contact with seawater. And over time, it starts to rust. As you can see that this old gearbox is actually made out of cast iron and we have actually used this for more than 2-3 to three years. You can see that a lot of it is actually rusted. So one of the things that you could do to ensure that is to try to remove all the rust and you can apply a layer of bituminous paint onto it, right? So that's on the exterior side. One of the key components of the gearbox is to ensure that it has a smooth rotation. So you might want to check your paddle wheels if they are able to rotate freely. So the first symptoms if it can't is you need to make sure there's adequate hydraulic oil inside the gearbox. Right, you can top it up and you know only by ensuring it has enough oil right it can rotate a bit better so in the event that you know you have already tried to replace the hydraulic oil and you still find yourself not able to turn the gearbox properly what you can do at this stage is to use some diesel or petrol to actually wash out some of the dirt that's being accumulated inside the gearbox for a long period of time because as you can see a lot of rusting might actually occur making it very hard to turn even though you have actually changed the hydraulic oil right so good tools is to just drain out and wash it a couple of times with diesel fill up with hydraulic oil again then of course make sure you install the o-ring before you cap it out right so in this case we actually have, we have resurfaced some of the gearbox and we have actually fitted on a new motor onto it so over time as you might already aware that Putting the motor on top of a saltwater environment will result that the motor will not last very long, especially on the electric connection side, resulting in a lot of shot. Right, so you can see this is not any uh, ordinary motor. The shaft is actually it has a bit of a profile, so it helps to turn the gearbox on the top. Okay, so it's not the normal motor, and this is how you assemble it. Uh, one of the important things here is to actually use all stainless steel screws because it will help you dismantle it a bit easier, especially after long periods of exposure to seawater. Right, so my colleague here is just actually wiring it up all the wires so we actually use three phase power along with the addition earth line and he's just actually mounting all of this equipment onto the paddle wheel so you can see maintenance of this is actually quite hard because you actually have to go inside the pond and fix everything up so he's just fixing the motor up onto the pontoon and then putting in the necessary wires uh, to rewire it again so maintenance is actually quite uh, lengthy or troublesome because most of it is actually taking place on the pond so having a robust equipment is actually quite important to ensure that you do not have any issues or laps between a uh, paddle wheel which will result in lack of oxygen as you can see it only consists of two parts the gearbox and the motor uh, usually it's the gearbox that has a bit of issue uh, then after that if you are sure that your motor is okay then you can proceed to use it again so as you can see that our shrimps are actually at about four grams to five gram size already uh, for both ponds using this aeration method so no issues on that um, we are ensuring that we have enough aeration as the culture will continue to double or triple in size in a very short month so that's all for this video we hope you enjoy a little bit on how to maintain some of these paddle wheels and we would like to see you back again at rascal culture very shortly and do remember to subscribe to get a weekly notification on our latest video